Hi everybody, let's talk about how to put a book on hold through the online Destiny catalog. All right, so if you notice, I'm starting at the library's webpage. Um, and right here, front and center, as soon as you get on the page, you find a link in blue. It says, click here to access the library catalog and your account. Okay, so you can click that link or you can access it by visiting the link that you see on the screen. I would recommend that you bookmark the library website and you bookmark the Destiny catalog because the library website's got some awesome stuff that you're going to want to check out anyway over here on the side. So let's go ahead and place a book on hold. So when you click that link, you're taken to the Destiny Discover page where you find some recently added books at the top, some popular titles in the middle, and if you keep scrolling, there are some additional options like Lightbox books and eBooks, including some brand new eBooks that we've gotten in recently. So first things first, let's log in. So to log in, you click in the upper right-hand corner, log in, and you'll notice that on mine, the username and password are saved because I've told Chrome that it can do that. You might want to do the same thing because you're the only one using your Chromebook. However, if you don't want to save it, remember, your login credentials, your username is the handle of your email address, meaning just the name part. Your password is your power school ID number or your lunch number or your student ID number, whatever you want to call it. But it's that number. That is going to be your password. And as it says here, if you have trouble logging in, you can just email me. All right, I'm going to click Submit. And you know you're logged in when you see this little icon in the upper right hand corner. So let's go ahead and place a book on hold. So let's say I wanna place this book on hold. If you notice this book is out, there's a red triangle in the corner with the word out. Uh, this book is in with a green triangle that says in. I'm gonna show you both. So for instance, if I wanna put a book on hold that is out, I click the title, I click the word hold, Notice it says we have received your request for this hold, meaning it's on hold for me, but it's currently checked out, meaning it's not going to be ready this next Wednesday unless somebody returns it before then and it gets checked in. Okay, now this book, Shadowborn. Okay, if I want to click, if I want to check this one out, if I want to put it on hold, I click the cover, I click the word hold, and now this one it says it's available now. Okay. That's how you know whether or not your hold is going to be ready this week or it'll be ready in the future. So to double check, let's come over here in the upper left-hand corner and click on these three lines for this menu, this uh, hamburger menu as we call it. You'll notice it has a little red circle with the number one in it, okay? Look at all these options. You'll have similar options on yours, including your profile, what books you've got checked out, and the books you have on hold. So I'm going to click that holds button, and if you notice, it says Shadowborn Hold Ready. It expires October 11th. And then the Nameless City, um, this one that I wanted to check out, The Divided Earth, it says Hold Pending, meaning that the hold is not ready yet. If at any point you want to get rid of a hold or you don't want it anymore, if the hold is ready, you're not going to get the option to do that, so you'll need to email either myself or Mrs. Rhodes. Um, but if it's one that the hold isn't ready yet and you really don't want to put it on hold for whatever reason, click the Unhold button. Now, I would recommend keeping it on hold because it could come back in the next couple of weeks. Okay, that's how you place books on hold, and that's how you check to see what books you have on hold. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Mrs. Rhodes. Until I see you again, happy reading.